Today, I'll be walking through how to use Reflect or I guess any networking or picking tool as a CMS for your writing. Now, Reflect is a fantastic tool for writing. It's one of the original reasons that Alex McCarr, CEO, developed it. And I'm going to show you how to go through the whole process through from fleshing out ideas all the way through to editing and getting something ready to publish. Now, I'm not going to focus on the actual publishing because everyone has their own system, their own tools they use to publish their blog. Um, and really, you can just copy and paste it into whatever tool you use for that, whether it's a Google Doc or some other platform directly. So I'm going to be focused solely on the writing process. I'm going to go through three technically four uh, methods here, and I put them in order of my own personal preference. Uh, but of course, this all depends on, you know, your own workflows, your own preferences. So choose whichever method you think will uh, fit the best in your own writing style, your own workflow. But kind of get started with the first one here, using tags. Now, essentially what I do is, and first of all, this is the one that I actually use for my own writing. The other ones are mostly just kind of examples. Um, but if I kind of look through the tags here, it's pretty self-explanatory. I've got an article idea tag. That means that it's just an idea for something to write. Um, the article draft tag means that it's a work in progress, but it's not yet finished. And I change it to just article when it is finished and ready to publish. Uh, I don't have a tag or I don't use the tag that says published, but you could, if you wanted to denote everything that's like, you know, currently live, uh, on your website or whatever. I personally don't do that. Um, and another, I guess, word of caution, some people will use the article tag to note things they actually save that they didn't write. So if you find an article online, for example, I save those as links. So it's not an issue for me, but I do want to mention it just so that you don't kind of have a multi-use tag, which would be uh, not very ideal. So to kind of show you what this looked like, first, the article idea. So let's kind of assume I'm in my daily note here and I have an idea for an article. I could say um, maybe, well, first I'll give it the article idea tag. And then maybe I want to uh, have it be for my personal website. So I'll say for sandfossen.com. Um, and then I'll just write the idea. So maybe this one, uh, gosh, I actually should have prepared an idea ahead of this. Um, this probably wouldn't be for my own personal website, but maybe it will be on uh, how important shipping is to grow. That actually would be kind of an interesting one for write. Um, I'm not going to create a backlink out of it yet. I'm just going to write the idea down. I think that's sort of the important part is that just that you get it down. And then if you click on this tag, uh, we now see this daily note in here. And if I ever want to look at all the ideas I have that I haven't started, I can pull on a list here. Um, I probably don't use the article idea, uh, tag as often as I should, but I'm also pretty good at cleaning them out. So that's why there's not a ton here. Um, and that's pretty much it for the article idea. That one's very simple. You don't need to really do anything. Now, if we go click on an article draft, uh, you see more in the list here. So, um, let me just go into one here and you can see that I kind of do this exact same thing. Uh, I give it the tag article draft or, and then I backlink to the project, um, to go into another one that's for like a different project. Let's go into one for, um, reflect, um, article draft for reflect, you know, same kind of thing. And then here I can put any notes that I have, um, before writing the actual article. Okay. Um, I guess I could go into article two, but I, it's the exact same. Uh, these are just ones that are actually published. So. Um, same format with all of these. And then what I'll actually do to go through an example. Um, so let's say I take this article idea and I'm ready to, uh, flesh it out into an actual draft. I will take this note and I will then turn it into a backlink and I can then go into it. And now I'll give this, uh, the article draft tag, uh, for put that under my personal website. Again, that's the exact same format as before. And then I can just start, you know, working on my outline, um, actually writing the draft, whatever. And that's how you go from article idea to article draft using the tag system. And uh, let me go back to my CMS page here. Then if I kind of look at the article drafts, uh, let's say backlinks versus tags, just, you know, for the sake of this, let's say I've actually written the draft and it's finalized, which obviously it's not here, but I'm just going to delete, whoops, 
uh, delete that tag and give it the new article tag. And I don't have to change anything else on the note that is just going to put it in the different list. So it will no longer show up as an article draft. It will show up as an actual art. Um, and then of course, you know, if you had the published tag, you could do the exact same thing, change that article tag to published article or whatever it is, and it will work. So, um, pretty simple. You don't need to set anything up. You literally just need to start using the tags in the notes. Um, that's why I use this system. It really requires, uh, no maintenance. Also, this is going to bug me. I just noticed that I had a spelling error here. Cool. Um, all right, let me go to the second method. And I'm realizing I kind of lied in the beginning of this video when I said I, I only use the tag one. I use this method a little bit too, but I have kind of beefed it up for this video in case you don't use tags. Uh, it allows you to um, only use a note. And if you're someone who is used to using like a folder system for article drafts, this might be a little bit easier. So here I have this note just titled articles. I gave it a nice emoji because I give emojis to my uh, kind of categorical ones. And you'll see that I have it pinned here. I usually don't have it pinned, to be honest. Um, but if you're someone that writes a lot and you do use this system or this method specifically, you might want to pin it. And going in here, you can see that I've got three categories. Instead of being a tag, it's ideas, drafts, and published. And for each of these, I have the three projects that I typically do writing on. My personal website, which is not yet live. So actually, theoretically, everything in there is a draft. There's nothing actually in the published category here. Um, and then, yeah, draft published. And I can kind of click into these and see all the ideas that I have. Um, the ideas aren't backlinked yet because I haven't actually started writing them. So they're just sort of the text ideas. Um, the drafts do have backlinks and that's the exact same notes that you see before. So I'm kind of getting ahead of myself into the first category here, but you can see that what I actually do is use a hybrid format. And that just means that inside these draft categories, I've got the links. And if I kind of just show the preview to this note, you can see that it still has the article draft tag within there. So you can use these. Uh, both in the same format. You can use either one, not together. It's honestly up to you. But this is kind of a nice way to keep track of them. And if you're like a content creator or a writer, you can sort of just easily see everything living together all in one place. And it's pretty nice. Um, and of course, then, you know, with this system too, you can just sort of drag and drop things. So if I wanted to take this uh, how to start a fitness tag, I could then go drag it underneath the public section underneath the right category. Um, that's what I'm still working on. So I'm not going to do that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Super simple. You just drag things down and forth. Um, you can see what ideas you have. If you need to write something new for the week, you can go into ideas and select one. Um, I don't know if you're ready to publish something, you can just go look at the drafts you have. So pretty simple. All right. Um, the third method. Okay. I'm not going to lie. This is my least favorite method. And. Very rare, actually, that I say that about backlinking as uh, my least favorite method. But this is a pretty pure backlinking method, and it's basically just using a backlink instead of a tag. It's kind of doing the same format, um, but instead of the tag, when you click into this, we don't get a list of our notes unless we manually curate it. Um, so here, what I've done is sort of just laid out the project. So this note, or this backlinked note is basically just this section of my article's note and the article drafts backlink is just, oh gosh, shouldn't have done that. It's just this set, section. So there's nothing revolutionary in this idea, uh, but it is technically a more pure idea because if we wanted to go into the uh, daily note, for example, I could, for example, just say um, article idea, just like I did for the tag. And oops. Um, and then I can say, um, Sorry, I deleted it accidentally. Um, I don't know. Article ideas for reflect. Uh, trying to come up with one on the spot now. Sorry, I can't come up with one. I'm just going to say um, why they're taking is great. That would be a terrible article unless it was very, very well written. But you kind of get the idea. And then if I go into article ideas, uh, you know, I could list it here if I want to, or I could just rely on the incoming backlinks. Uh, what I just wrote there in the daily note, you can see, and you could technically get a list. 
I think that is a little bit more messy. I don't like the idea of having a backlink for each of those sections. Um, I don't know. It might make more sense to just have a general like written article backlink that you could add. But to be honest, this is one of those use cases that I think tags works way better. And you can just move them from tag to tag. You don't have to like move one of these notes from an article idea to an article of draft. So if it seems like I'm kind of bashing this own system that I put in here, kind of am. Uh, but you could use it, though I wanted to mention it. And that's kind of method three. That's all I'm going to say there, because, because again, that's my least favorite. Um, and then this fourth one is not really a fourth method. It's just sort of what I showed you before, where you could have a list of your articles while still using tag. Um, obviously, you're going to be using backlinks if you ever do a draft, because the note draft is going to be a backlink itself. And then, you know, you could add in tags or whatnot. Um, but I really recommend using either one of these first two methods or both as a hybrid system together. Um, try it with the tag system first. If you find that that's just a little bit too funky for you and that you're just actually not using the tags and it's more of a friction to think of the tag to add, then you can kind of go back to this article system, which I think is much more what people are used to. Um, and again, once you have the draft ready, you can just, uh, you know, take all the text, copy it and paste it into whatever format you want. So a couple of methods you can choose from. That is how I use reflect as a CMS for writing as someone that writes across multiple projects. Uh, it's a really great tool. If you've developed a different CMS using uh, reflect, I'd love to hear about it. So post it in the comments.